Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here again. Uh, And we're looking at 1 Kings 9 as we continue the story of Solomon. And this is after he has built the temple and consecrated it. Uh, He's prayed to God and he has offered lots of sacrifices. And in this chapter, God appears to Solomon a second time. And this time he gives Solomon a warning both for himself and for the nation of Israel. Uh, He warns Solomon that he needs to follow after God's commandment and walk in them all the days of his life, as David did. Uh, And if so, then he and the nation will be blessed. But if the king or the people of Israel choose to rebel against God and not follow his commands, then there will be consequences, both for the king and for the nation. The consequences for the nation of Israel if they chose to rebel against God was that they were gonna go into exile. And this eventually does happen if you read the Old Testament. And you can see the very start of that rebellion starting in the rest of this chapter. So I hope you choose to read this chapter so you can know the full story and what God says to Solomon. But what we can gain from this is that God wants to bless our lives. He wants to be able to give us all his blessings. But in order for us to receive those blessings, then we have to be obedient in following his ways. We cannot choose to do life our way and get God's blessing. And I want to clarify something that God is going to bless us his way not our way. He never promises to give us material blessings or comfort or wealth um, or health or any of those things that we typically think of when we first think of blessings. He wants to give us every spiritual blessing, but that requires us to follow after him and follow his ways. Um, And God's blessings are going to be far greater than any of those material or physical blessings that we think of at first. But if we want to experience them, then it requires us following God and being being obedient to him. See, God always offers us forgiveness of all of our sins if we come to him and repent and ask. He is always going to offer us that forgiveness. And that is so beautiful. That's how we get to spend eternity with him. But he will let us experience the consequences of our sin here on earth. See, those consequences of our sin the hardship and struggle because of our sin are meant to lead us to repentance so that we can repent and turn back to following God. Because God says to Solomon in this chapter, if his people repent and turn back to him, he will forgive them and restore them. It's all throughout the Old Testament. And so all of those consequences and hardships and struggle are meant to lead us to repentance. Um, And so remember, if you're in a time Come to God. He is waiting to give you forgiveness and to restore you and to bless you. Just some of the blessings that God wants to give to your life are his love, his joy, his peace, hope, forgiveness, grace, confidence in Christ. Those are just a few that he wants to bless you with. But he wants to give you every spiritual blessing that he has. And so I pray today that you would choose to walk in obedience with Christ. And in those times when you're not, because we all are sinners and rebel, know that God is waiting there for you to come and confess your sins and repent and turn back towards him so that you can follow him faithfully. Have a great day.